Today we're flying over a park outside of Smithville, Texas, where about 25 years ago, Crooner Guy, and Julia Roberts was busy, made a movie that still defines the town. We're here for a plant that is the only native North American plant that not only contains this powerful psychoactive compound, it contains the most popular psychoactive compound in the world. Caffeine! Yay, caffeine! It grows as far west as Texas, as far south as Central Florida, and all the way up the Carolina coast. Its range looks kind of like a map of newly minted voter suppression laws. The leaves of this shrub were historically roasted and brewed into a strong tea, and throughout this region it was consumed daily, like so many of us use coffee and tea today, but some tribes reserve drinking this tea for ceremonial use. This plant is Yapon Holly, which has the unfortunate scientific name Elex Vomitoria, which is a name that is interesting mostly because of how very, very wrong it is. I learned that a vomitorium was a place where ancient Romans made bulimia a sport. This idea was used to perpetuate the myth of the decadence of the Roman Empire. But if you were, say, feeling queasy and asked an ancient Roman to show you a vomitorium, they'd show you this. You know that passage from the outside of a stadium to the seating area? That's a vomitorium. So why in the world was this plant named after an architectural feature of a stadium? Well, it wasn't. Buckle up, your britches. It's story time. It's a couple of years after the American Revolutionary War, and you know what the English like as much as casual stoicism? Tea. And that tea was coming from China by the boatload. You know what goes with tea as well as violent imperialism? Sugar. And sugar was coming from the Caribbean by the boatload, and you know what makes Mad Kings very, very happy? Consistent tax revenue. Let's get back to Yapon Holly, which was originally named Elex Cassinia by none other than the father of taxonomy, Carl Linnaeus, because that was basically the common name. Europeans and natives have been using that name for hundreds of years. The trouble is, sometimes someone will come along and find out that what you thought was one species is actually two species. Linnaeus thought that Yapon and Dahoon Holly were the same species, and as we'll find out later, a crafty royal gardener exploited this mistake in ways that we're still feeling today. It was about this time that Yapon tea was starting to get popular in England, and that was troubling for a couple of reasons. One, it was grown in a region of North America that was largely controlled by the Spanish, so buying products from a Spanish colony at that time was basically funding an enemy. And two, Yapon isn't as bitter as black tea and doesn't really need as much sugar, so if it got too popular, you could kiss those sweet, sweet sugar tax revenues goodbye. Enter into our story one William Ayton, who was the royal gardener, friend of the king, and might have been on the payroll of the East India Company. You know, that company that was getting fat rich off all that Chinese tea. So remember Dahoon Holly? William Ayton let Dahoon Holly keep the name Elex Cassinia, which left Yapon Holly unnamed, and as Yapon was a growing commercial and tax threat, he decided that since he had heard that some native peoples use this plant as a drink that causes vomiting, which, yeah, there was vomiting, but it wasn't from the plant. It was from the vast quantities of very hot water they consumed. I'm talking gallons. You'd hurl too. So he named it Elex Vomitoria as a little favor to the King's Chancellor of the Exchequer and the East India Company. And you know what? It worked. And it still works today. This plant makes a wonderful tea and has absolutely no emetic qualities, and it's a huge uphill battle to convince people that it's safe just because of the name, which was given to it under super dubious circumstances. At this point, if you're thinking, man, I want to try some of this tea, I wouldn't blame you. There are a couple folks making tea from Yapon, but I would recommend heading over to Cat Spring Yapon. They're good folks, they make a good product, and there'll be a link in the description. Oh, that's good.